After only a day since Japan recommended the controversial Sado mine as a UNESCO World Heritage, its government also set up a task force to push forward with the process. The decision prompted a strong response from South Korean organizations due to the mine's links to wartime forced labor. Bae Eun-ji has the full story. The Japanese government has set up a task force as part of efforts to push ahead and list Sado mine as a World Heritage Site. According to its cabinet secretariat's website on Wednesday, the new team held its first meeting the day before, joined by senior officials from the foreign ministry and culture ministry. This announcement comes only a day after Japan recommended this huddle mine to be listed for the 2023 UNESCO World Heritage, despite strong protests from South Korea. The mine, located on the island of Sado, is a place where at least a thousand Koreans were forced into hard labor during Japan's colonial rule from 1910 to 1945 according to historical documents. It originally operated as a gold mine in the 17th century, but was later turned into a facility to produce materials for war, such as copper and iron. It was completely shut down in 1989. But Japan has continually denied that Korean people were forced to work at the mine. Regarding the recommendation of Sado Mine as World Heritage, the Voluntary Agency Network of Korea, or VANC, an organization known for online campaigns to promote the awareness of South Korea's history, strongly criticized Japan's decision and said it'll launch a campaign to show how history has been distorted. It said it'll send documents to Holocaust memorial centers worldwide on the history of Sado Mine and how the historical facts have been distorted. The group also plans to show this to students interested in Korean culture and to 200 media outlets across the world. Pei Arirang News.